Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Some people just don't play well with others, nor work well with others. They're unhappy and often get terminated. Following the composite is kind of typical. I'm so frustrated all the time with people and their foolish decisions and their beliefs. I'm always fuming or apologizing. So no surprise, I often get fired or <coughs> laid off. Anger lives just below my surface in everything I do. And don't even get me started on romantic relationships. I ever fight myself. Nothing works. Meditation, mantras, therapy, anger management courses, telling myself it doesn't matter that much, that I'm killing myself with all this anger. I tell myself all that stuff and nothing works. The only time that I'm calm is when I'm by myself. And even then, there is this low level river of anger running through me. I was scared of being self-employed. I'm no entrepreneur. I love security, but I don't feel I have a choice. So I started a business selling the best varieties of geraniums and in the winter, viola plants. The plants don't hate me and I don't hate them usually. And I have minimum interaction with customers. That all said, while I don't think I'd ever want or could be a social butterfly, there is something that just feels wrong about having to so isolate myself. Heck, I'm only 35, not 95. Any advice? Well, I'd ask, I'd ask these questions. Given that you've tried so many approaches to changing your angry personality, my questions are gonna presume that that won't change much. Rather, the questions are aimed at unearthing activities and environments in which you'll likely do better and feel better. Are there individual people or types of people that are at least likely, that are least likely to trigger you? Maybe they're people you know, or people you don't know, but who like what you do. For example, how about reaching out to customers who have given your plants a five-star review? Maybe ask them about their experience with the plant they bought and share yours. Maybe even send them a photo. Are there situations with, with people in which you're less likely to be triggered? Some angry people are far less so when they're dealing with people who don't threaten them. For example, maybe it's the physically or mentally disabled. Might such volunteer work help? Maybe trying that out could even suggest a possible career for you. Are there solo activities in which anger won't be much of a problem? For example, would spending more time gardening, perhaps for pleasure rather than just growing plants for sale? By the way, before that just hit me that maybe indeed, you know, animals, I know that even some pretty angry people are very sweet with animals, so maybe you might want to volunteer in some animal shelter or whatever and see if maybe somewhere in there lies something where you're not going to be angry. You're not, it's hard to be threatened by, by you know, pets that need a home, let's say if you're working at the ASPCA. And maybe there is some career for you in there that's not going to be threatening. Anyway, are there solo activities in which anger won't be much of a problem? For example, would spending more time gardening, perhaps for pleasure rather than just for growing plants for sale? Or other possibilities? Cooking. Eating reading, walking, maybe in nature, or maybe where there are good people watching opportunities, watching TV or movies, maybe while playing with or stroking your dog or cat, tending an aquarium, going fishing, or craft work such as needlework, jewelry making, model building, painting, photography, construction projects, sculpting, jigsaw puzzles, listening to music, singing or playing an instrument, cleaning your home, or a laid back video game like Stardew Valley, Firewatch, or Myst, M-Y-S-T, rather than, that's an old classic, rather than a shoot 'em up Are your daily routines comforting? Might you change any? For example, might you enjoy a cup of chamomile tea before you go to bed? When I get into bed each night, I read while I listen to an MP3 of lullabies. And finally, might you find peace of mind in ritual, whether it's your daily routine, a morning or evening prayer, or attending services. Now, some people should strive to try to conquer their weaknesses, while other people may wisely choose to accept their weaknesses and put themselves in situations that minimize their weaknesses' effect. How about you? Whether it's an issue with people or work, whatever, should you focus on improving yourself or on finding better suited situations and activities. 
In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.